Good morning, my dear morning sun. I'm sorry to have disturbed your slumber. However, I needed a better look at your enchanting face to inspire me for this morning's sunrise. Oh, but how could I paint a masterpiece without my favorite muse to inspire me? It would be impossible to bring out the full potential of any art without you setting my mind and heart alight with ideas. But it's true. You are my greatest source of inspiration. Whenever I see your attractive visage, it is impossible not to feel the need to paint a tribute to you. My hand itches for my brush at the sight of you, and I cannot help but think of you for each and every sunrise and sunset that I paint. No painting may ever truly capture how captivating you are. But as an artist, I must attempt to do so. <laughs> you look rather annoyed with me. I should have expected nothing less. I interrupted your sleep at such an early hour. The sun's rays are barely over the horizon. Tell me, my morning sun. Did I happen to interrupt a rather pleasant dream? I can only imagine that to be the case, given the sharpness of your glare. Oh, <laughs> then I feel as though I must ask, was it a dream about me? <laughs> Please, my dear, don't walk away from me. Come back to the window so that I may see you again. If I could, my dearest morning sun, then I most certainly would. However, my wings are far too large, so I cannot follow you into your room. That is why I must perch in the branches near your window. It is the only way I might catch sight of your entrancing face. <laughs> You might say that, but your eyes tell a different story entirely. Every morning when you wake, I find myself locked in place by your gaze. Even from your bed, I can feel the way you watch me. Your eyes burning into my skin like sunlight. You warm me to the point of burning, my morning sun. Why, of course it is. What other reason would I have for giving you that term of endearment? You are the reason I rise in the morning, and the one that sets my heart ablaze. So there's nothing else that you can be besides my own morning sun. Hmm, <laughs> there you are. Oh, how I missed seeing your face. It might only have been a few moments, but any second spent where I cannot see your face might as well be an entire hour in hell. To be without you is a pain that I cannot bear. You are a blessing in my life, and I am loath to know a world without you again. If that is what you think, then you have been severely misled. You are a miracle upon earth, the embodiment of art, love, and magic in a soul being. I've been entranced from the second I saw you out of the corner of my eye. You struck me like lightning and sent me tumbling from the clouds. I fell in love with you in the most literal of senses, and you were so intoxicating to all of my senses that I didn't even notice my broken wing. The fact that you took it upon yourself to set my bones and care for me only affirmed my feelings about you. You have a heart as enchanting as your appearance. You cannot argue with my words, my morning sun. For I will not be swayed in my opinion. 
The tenderness and care with which you treated my injury has solidified my thoughts. You are a treasure like no other, and it is the reason I seek your affection so persistently. That is where I must stand my ground and tell you that you are very wrong, my dearest morning sun. I may have a tongue like honey and cider, but I only speak the truth to you. My heart yearns for you. It beats in an excited rhythm at the mere thought of you. You are my morning sun and I seek only to honor the way you captivate me in my paintings. Though perhaps, if you are in a particularly generous mood, then I would also much enjoy a kiss. <laughs> All right. Yes, I know you are not in a generous mood, but I could not resist taking the chance to ask. Now, if I promise not to ask again, will you quit aiming such harsh words in my direction? Thank you. It is much appreciated. As much fun as it is to tease you, I prefer having your attention in a pleasant way rather than to incite your anger. Well, love may make fools of everyone. But I try to be smart about how often I use my flirting to annoy you. I would rather learn to hold my tongue than continue to be a fool and suffer the consequences of your wrath. Oh. <laughs> that seems to have gotten a smile out of you. <laughs> a rather cute one, too. I think it may even have jumbled my thoughts a bit. <laughs> And now you're even laughing at my silly jokes. Tell me, have I stumbled into a different reality? Then I must be dreaming. Or rather, you must be dreaming. It's far too early for you to be awake yet. Return to your slumber. And make sure it's a dreamless one this time. I know not how to act in the face of your smile, so do not show it to me again until I'm more prepared. You will cause the heart in my chest to burst, and I will die in a way that only the most lovesick of humans can. That hypnotic laugh again. Please, my dearest, you're killing me with love. Go back to your bed, and let sleep overtake you like snow on a flowery field. Allow me to regain myself so I may finish painting the clouds before the day has truly begun. Oh, I'll win your heart yet, my morning sun. But for now, rest. My masterpiece shall be ready for you whenever you shall wake, and I will return in the evening to paint you a sunset that will take your breath away. Then perhaps your smile won't leave me on the verge of a most beautiful death.